everybody. Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com here. And today let's talk about crossfades. Um, I'm going to give you an introduction to them and what they are. If you're new to recording, you may not have even heard the word crossfade. And if you've been doing this for a while, you may know what they are, but it might be useful to find out a little bit more about what they're used for and why we would want to use them. So let me, um, let me get rid of I've got a song here in Pro Tools. Let me find a track that has been edited somewhat. Um, let's look at the, at the uh, bass track here. So I'm going to get rid of all these just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got a bass track here. Pretty simple. Uh, this is a country demo, actually. And as you can see, there's different sections, different regions to the bass. Uh, we recorded this a um, couple different takes, and there were a couple spots where I wanted him to punch in certain sections because we wanted to change that out. So we've got it, and it sounds like this. And take note, when, the, when it crosses over this section here, how you don't really hear a click or a pop in the audio at all. It's just smooth. It's a smooth transition. That's because of crossfades. So let me take a step back. You may still not know what the heck I mean when I say crossfade. This is a crossfade, what you're seeing here. And essentially, it's just a connector piece between two different pieces of audio. So as you can see, uh, if you look here, this line represents the first piece of audio. It's fading out. And then this line represents the second piece of audio. It's fading in. It would be the exact same thing. Let me duplicate. Whoops, no, not delete. <laughs> Let me duplicate that. It'd be the same thing as if we had actually two different tracks and we were fading one in over the other. So if we deleted that audio and deleted this audio, and now we've got two, two separate pieces of audio next to each other, and if we were to take one, let me zoom in here, and um, fade that one in, and then fade or fade that one out, and then the other one to fade in. It's essentially the same thing. As you can see, this one's fading out, and at the same time, this one's fading back in. And because they're both going at the same time, it sounds like one continuous piece of audio. So let me undo that back a bit. All right, we'll get rid of this duplicate. So as you can see, instead of having to splice together different audio tracks to get a bunch of different takes together, it's a simple thing called a crossfade. And it, it, what happens is this section here is kind of a combination. You're seeing the waveform of what it sounds like with both of those combined and crossed over in the middle. And the whole point of this is if you don't have a crossfade, then there's usually a noticeable pop right here on that line when the audio passes over. Let's take a listen right there. Did you hear that pop? I'll turn it up a little bit. There's a noticeable pop in the audio, and, and that's never uh, what you want. So that's where crossfades come in. I need to have this second piece of audio here because it's not one continuous take that he played. We punched in, but a punch in is no good if you can't use it. So I essentially just move this around, find a, um, find a decent spot, and then I come in and just do a quick crossfade. And the way I do that in Pro Tools is simply with the Smart Tool engaged, I come over here, hover over this lower section where the two regions are touching, click on that and then I can adjust how wide I want that crossfade to be. It can be really short, it can be really wide. And most times if it's in a fairly quiet section like right there, you don't have to do much in the way of setting up the crossfade, you just go. And so that's how you do it. There's a crossfade and now there's no uh, noticeable blip in the audio between there. Now one thing you may see is is there my, the shape of my crossfade may be different from yours. Don't get too caught up in shapes. If we select this and hit Apple F, this brings up a crossfade menu or window. You can have your crossfade look like that. You can have it look like that. You can have it be flat. You can have it be super, almost like a right angle. And honestly, there's just really, I've played around with them and I found that this one, there's not quite as much of a dip in the audio between the two pieces. This one is just a straight fade in, fade out. You're probably not going to hear a difference 80% of the time. Um, so I just pick one, and that's my default. Um, in Pro Tools, it allows you to actually go into your preferences and pick um, how you want your crossfade to look. And so that's what I've got mine set to. If yours is like this, there's no problem. That's just fine, and you'll be okay. Don't get too caught up in the shapes. Just worry about finding a good edit point 
and then knocking those out from there. Another quick tip, I'm a little over time here. If you've got a bunch of audio and you know you want crossfades everywhere, you can select everything, hit Apple F, and it brings up this batch fade window. And all this does is wherever there's not a fade or a crossfade, it creates one, and you can tell it exactly how long you want that to be. 10 milliseconds is good. Click OK, and it goes through and adds fades everywhere. That's usually not ideal because you need to go listen to make sure there's still no pop in the audio. Just because there's a crossfade doesn't necessarily mean there's not going to be a pop there. So you still need to listen as you edit. I rarely batch fade things, but it's good to know that that's there. And that's it for me. Hopefully this was a good explanation of crossfading for you. If you're not using crossfades, you need to be using them just to cut out on any unwanted pops and clicks. And if you want more in-depth training on editing in general, how to do things like editing, crossfading, uh, pocketing, all those things, check out understandingediting.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Thank you.